Okay, everyone. We, uh... We have found loads of lore dump, and it is kind of fantastic. Kind of. Where am I supposed to go? Am I supposed to go that way? Oh, yeah, I think I am supposed to go that way. Oh, no, wait, it says use console. So, I guess I could go this way and see what's over here. Although, I doubt there will be anything over here for now. But, yeah, the last two, three episodes have been just nothing but lord up and we are slowly discovering how the end of the world happened and we know that Hades wants to uh, bring the machines back to life to burn the world and I have a sneaking suspicion that Hades tried to burn the world already it is the AI that was created by Ted What is this? That? It's a map. A map of what? Our world. The planet Earth, Aloy. It's not flat like you thought. Why would I think that? During eclipses, the shadow cast on the moon is curved. So our world is a globe. And it looks like this, from a distance. We'll discuss this another time. <laughs> Back to the matter at hand. The Faro robots were spreading across the world, eating everything up. Somehow, Elizabeth stopped them before it was too late. But how? Good question, Aloy. Tune in next time. <laughs> no, we're uh, we're actually gonna find out now. Now, we're gonna find out now. I'm uh, I'm a little hungry. My, my teeth are starting to get a bit chittery, which means my blood sugar is kind of low. But we're going to find out what is in store for us. <clears throat> Holy fuck. That is a titan. Bloody hell. The eclipse. Tampering with a metal devil. They don't think they can wake it, do they? Watch out! <laughs> well, this is going to be an interesting fight. Perceptive of you, Aloy. We're gonna have to go kill it.
selling that. Search the war room. First I need to get some more medicinal berries. <laughs> Before I depart. Uh, what else can I get rid of? Let's see here, ancient sculpture, death bring a heart, I'll keep you. <coughs> um, okay, I probably don't need any more. I have plenty of meat. <laughs> and rusted scrap and fatty meat. And bony meat. <laughs> Okay, that should be good. What's this? A door that doesn't take that nutty brilliant. Report, Biosphere Degradation, August 2065, Confidential. Chafe findings. Despite increased tactical proficiency of elite and civilian guard units and many hard-worn engagements in the Central European, Antarctic and Pacific Reach theatres, the Borrow Plague's rate of advance has not slowed, nor has its biomass consumption rate. Damage to the biosphere has already exceeded 2038 levels by every measure and grows worse by every day. Extinction timeline projections remain unchanged, with OAC predicted for mid November 2065, annihilation of exposed human population in February 2066, extinction of macrobiotic land organisms by the end of March 2066, and extinction of marine life in early 2068. 
Continued secrecy, reply Project Zero Dawn, the utter silence uh, regarding its mechanisms of action and completion date, make it impossible to predict Zero Dawn's impact or lack of impact on the extinction timeline. Atmospheric collapse. Atmospheric oxygen depletion and toxic emissions remain the greatest environmental threat to operation in during victory, as well as the wider civilian population and animal life. Operational Atmospheric Collapse, OIC, is currently predicted for mid-November 2065, after which military personnel will require rebreathing apparatuses to operate in the open, and civilians will only be able to survive inside sealed structures. The requirements for air scrubbing and recycling in facilities is addressed in Addendum A, linked to this report. Potable water shortages. Major water treatment facilities are already struggling to process water sources compromised by rainfall heavily contaminated by toxins emitted by the consumption of the Eastern Hemisphere. Following the necessary shutdown of all nanoscrubbing functionality, wastewater recycling is already beyond capacity. Military response escalation. Addenda linked to this document covers the short-term effects of scorched earth engagements in defense of the West and Seaboard and the ongoing effects of the Oceanic Economic Zone's use of nuclear weapons to delay the enemy's initial advance across the Pacific Theater. Data corrupted. I would not recommend nuclear weapons <laughs> to stop a machine that doesn't require air to breathe. I mean, you're just essentially dooming yourself if you're gonna use a nuclear whip. Bloody hell. Thank you, Dr. Sobek. You can take a seat. What? You're going to thank her after what she just said? Dr. Sobek has made the situation very clear, General, and given us an option. We should all be thanking her. No, it's just... I mean, my God! Maybe take this discussion offline. There's not going to be any discussion. You saw the numbers. Now, Pharaoh, he'll foot the bill, but his money can't buy the time necessary to complete Zero Dawn. That's... That can only be paid for in blood. Oh, come on. If we upgrade our fleet, crack the code somehow... Uh... Were you not listening? Robots can't do the fighting for you this time. When it comes to hacking, this rogue swarm is an apex predator. Anything automated you throw at it, they will hijack and take over. But this... We'd be throwing civilians into a meat grinder. Commanders, the enemy we're facing self-replicates faster than we can kill it and it eats biomass as fuel. Zero Dawn is all we've got. So we put a railgun in the hand of every civilian strong enough to carry one, show them where the trigger is, and point them to the front? How the hell do we sell that? By giving them something to fight for. Zero Dawn. The top secret super weapons program that will save us. So long as humanity holds off the swarm long enough for Dr. Sobek and her team to finish it. The file I'm sending contains the war plan for Operation Enduring Victory. War plan? This is a war crime. It may be ugly, but it's something. Consider the alternative. Dr. Sobek, I've secured use of a decommissioned orbital launch base outside Bryce, Utah as the Zero Dawn staging area. Plenty of space there. When can you get started? I've already mailed you a list of Alpha and Beta candidates. Most are foreign nationals or subjects of corporate holdings, so extracting them... Leave that to me. You'll get your dream team. Count on it. Then I'll be off. Orbital launch base? What is that? What did these people do? What did Elizabeth do? Do you really need me to connect the dots for you, Aloy? 
Oh man. For anyone who's watching, I wager you can connect the dots if you haven't already played this. <laughs> Dr. Sobek, as projected, the Wichita salient has collapsed. Five Horus class titans have broken through. We predict contact in 34 hours. Everything is in position, General. It took a few shortcuts to pull everything together, but Zero Dawn is functionally complete. Good to go. That enduring victory served its purpose after all. Yes, if we'd had even one day less. I've sent you an encoded file, Doctor. Please do me the favor of archiving it. I'll, I'll see what I can do. What is it? A brief statement. An allocution of crimes, I guess you'd call it. To what are you admitting guilt? Over the past 16 months, Doctor. I have presided over the greatest wholesale slaughter of military personnel and civilians in the history of... history. Genghis Khan, Hitler, Stalin, Sorabella. Add them all together. They don't even come close. You didn't do the killing, General. No, not directly. But I didn't wind up the highest-ranked military commander in the United States by resisting the automation of the armed forces. Even before the swarm, Doctor, I was helping death along. So, instead of letting what I've done sink into the murk, forgotten, I set a file with all the details. Let posterity judge my actions with clear vision. I'll do as you ask, General. But you should consider that were it not for your actions, our actions, there wouldn't be any posterity to judge us. So big. At ease, General. And goodbye. Hell of a thing. Oh my god, such a sad story. So, if you haven't been keeping up. Oh, cutscene. Cutscene. Glad to be rid of that place. Now I just need to find the orbital launch base they talked about. I've checked my data and located the base. That's the good news. And the bad? It's directly underneath the Citadel. The palace at Sunfall. The capital of the Shadow Karja. Not exactly convenient. The palace is crawling with Eclipse agents. Many in positions of authority, all of them wearing focuses. The moment they see you, Hades will too. He'll issue another kill order, and this time, the entire Shadow Karja military will be after you. So, disable their focuses. You've done it before. It's not that simple. Too many focuses in one place. Each of them communicating with each other and back to Hades. A whole network of them. Network? What's that? Uh, imagine a vast, invisible web stretched across the land from end to end, connecting focuses together, allowing them to communicate over vast distances instantaneously. <sighs> All right. So, is there some way to cut the web down? Hmm. Crash the network. Audacious. Yes. There is a way. A weak point in the network. Point the way. <laughs> I'll send the location data to your focus. Head there, and I'll be in touch when you're close with more directions. What was Zero Dawn? What sort of super weapon did Elizabeth make? She stopped the machines. Not before the world she knew. Her civilization ended. Now, how am I gonna get down from here? Oh, this should be quite the ride. What was that about a ride? Oh. Well, I don't think I can get back up there, eh, Louis? Wait, maybe. Haha! -ha. <laughs> Oh, it's going right. This would be probably the most terrifying roller coaster ride in existence. <laughs> oh my god. I'd do that again if it weren't so much work to get back up there. I wouldn't. <laughs> uh. 
Okay, so if you've been paying attention, my lovely peeps, the world ended. Uh, Elizabeth Sobek made some sort of super weapon to destroy the Faro machines? I think they're Faro machines. But it essentially destroyed all life on Earth. That is what we're getting at. And the general who initiated Operation Enduring Victory <laughs> was, uh... was feeling regretful. <laughs> because apparently Operation Enduring Victory was just throwing bodies in front of the machine <clears throat> for Elizabeth Sobek to, uh, have time to make her super weapon. Uh, I wish I had a fast travel pack. <coughs> As it is, I'm probably going to spend the rest of this episode running. I need to find myself a uh, up mount. One less Nora in the world. Ow. Ow. Let me hack that beauty. <laughs> Okay, time to skedaddle, out of the way. thousand paces or so, I think? Maybe? Yep, 4,700 paces. Ah, bloody hell. Well, that is definitely gonna take the rest of the episode. So, I'll, uh, I'll, I'll just ask, how are you peeps doing? I hope you're all, uh, peachy cane. On what was that loading screen just now? I hope the uh, I hope this video perks you up a little bit because I aim to entertain. <laughs> and now. Paces. Oh man. I feel like we're getting closer to the end of the story. I hope we're getting closer. <laughs> because I, I feel like I'm just really bad at this game. <laughs> And I'd much rather go back to playing a... I'm not going to say a much more entertaining game, but for me it's much more entertaining. Because I can literally kill anyone I want. It is the glorious game of Fallout New Vegas. <laughs> oh my goodness. <laughs> I 
I better not have come down with the Rona. I am not gonna be pitching if I have. Damn. Follow the road, please. And I missed my turn. La dee da. Oh snap. Plow straight through them. You're a battering ram. Just tilt your head down and charge full speed. Please. It's honestly not that difficult. Not quick enough. Why though, playing this game, I don't have to worry about death claws. <laughs> For those of you who don't know what a death claw is, it is a terrifying abomination. And in Fallout New Vegas, they will absolutely rock your shit and ruin your day. <laughs> In Fallout 4, I've played Fallout 4. In Fallout 4, the Death Claws look absolutely menacing. Like, the 3D model looks like something literally out of a nightmare. But they are one of the easiest things to kill. And the fact that you're given power armor in the very beginning of the game just makes the game that much more, I don't know, not enjoyable. Because in the previous Fallout games, you really had to work for that power armor. But in Fallout 4, they're like, nope, you get power armor right off the bat. <coughs> they're like, here's some power armor, have fun destroying the wasteland. <laughs> but yeah, in Fallout 4, if you have power armor and some decent combat sense, then you can take on a death claw, no problem. But in Fallout New Vegas, if you're not, like, extremely tactical, a Deathclaw will ruin your day. <laughs> but that's all for this video. I do hope you lot enjoyed, and I hope you enjoy the next video as well, where we get closer to the plot. Tschüss!